won't even thank you. Please don't die, Aiden. Aiden, please. I need you right now. Time to power down. I set this up right? I should be good. Yep. This is your chance to do some damage. Don't waste time. Um so I was looking into this weapon thing. Music? Thank you. So I was looking into this weapon thing. So it's like this. They can actually share weapons, but only the same weapon type. I guess the excuse is that they are only trained in certain weapons, so if they have a weapon that of that type, you can give them another weapon of the same type. If you want somebody to use assault rifles, you gotta find somebody who has one, trained in that. Then you can swap any assault rifle from anyone else with that character. Mmm. It's still kinda ass though. I think their intention was, the, you know, to differentiate your playstyle and use different characters, right? I don't know. Let's get Thought was there. With. Execution. Iffy. Well, what the fuck kind of boss fight? Okay, this is different. Time to end this. I will make London great. <laughs> what? That was your boss fight? <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm the not. The resistance is ready to be London's protectors. We seem to be doing a better job than you. Oh, it's a thankless burden. And the people will hate you for it in the end. Even when it's for their own bloody good. <laughs> what a goof. Boom. Headshot. That's the thing. You gotta let people decide for themselves. <sighs> there it is. 
that sex fatal flaw. Your faith in people. You recruit all types, don't Aiden's you? Aiden's OP, bro. Off the streets. Well, I used to have faith in people, too. I got a good man killed once. <gasps> you think if I, like, stealth my way behind him, I could have hit him with a takedown? And that would have been it? Motherfucker was came out the thing flexing his suit of armor like Master Chief <laughs> and he fucking well, got killed with half a mag. Shame. I think he would have made a smashing zero day. We have plenty of work still to do. Cass may be gone, but Albion won't disappear that easily. Expect the powers that be to find fresh excuses to keep them on the streets. That said, I think we've earned ourselves a bit of a rest from zero day as well. One shot, one kill. Jesus. Um, I would be okay with that, but they should have been able to upgrade somebody by training them in new weapons. Yeah. I think we should be on the last chapter. Dead sec chapter. There ha this has to be the last chapter, bro. Get me out of this game. I want to play something else. Ah, oh, fuck. We got the DLC. Alright, we're stuck forever. Oi, you put down a mad dog, dead sec. Need it to be done. This calls for a celebration, innit? And now that I'm not being hunted by a psychopath, I think I'd like to see that safe house of yours. Link me there. Finally, not a bitch, huh? No. Oh. When the boss of the game is easier to take down than your average grunt. Facts. Who finally decided to show his you face? You had to join him, dead sec, Hamish. We couldn't use you. Nah, mate. Got to maintain my free agent status. Not enough booby traps in this place. Still, I'm glad we linked up. Don't know who else would have had the bollocks to take on Cass. Losing their psycho cult leader is gonna hurt Albion, no doubt. But trust me, fam. They won't pack it in so easily. Hope dead sex got some fight left in it. Ubisoft. We wanted to make sure the last boss didn't feel too bullet spongy. You know, make him feel like a real person. I hope this is not copyright. Inspector, you're the last person I'd expect at a dead sick party. <laughs> I'm only human, and we've got a lot to celebrate. Cass finally got what was coming to him. And with Mary gone, the Kellys are on the back foot for once. Deadsec is making it hard to be a bad guy in London. Until the Met gets its bollocks back, I'm still on Team Deadsec. Damn it! I'm trying to stay hydrated. Are they celebrating that you killed somebody? Yup! Oh, this place is gonna about to get bombed or something. Hey, now. Taking a break from your dark web corporate takedowns? A well-deserved one. Since we teamed up, the corporate class are thinking twice about fucking with London. See what happened to Castle Avon pissing in their trousers. The tide is turning, mate. Keep fighting, and I'll fight along with you. Laters. Oh, you should've... You should've ran with your hand in your pockets, bro. Why do we gotta talk to this guy? Cheese is real. You suddenly develop a sense of humor, Malik? If you got something to say, say it to my face. And spoil my one source of entertainment? I'll give you a hint. Spooky voice, catchy name. 
bit of a drama queen. Or did you just forget that you haven't actually found Zero Day? You looked at Albion, Sirs, the Kellys, even Sky Bloody Larson. Have you ever considered that instead of looking outside, you should be looking in? All right, who is it? Sabine? We have a problem. Come talk to me. Oh my god. Is Bagley fucking zero day? Come on. Give me something, game. To appreciate. Hey, sorry to spoil the party, but we have an uninvited guest in the Deadset Network. They're downloading all the tech we've applied to a remote device labeled Drill Britannia. What the hell? Deadset. The name is Zero Day. We've met before in a past life. This city needed a villain, and you were perfect for the part. Now I have you playing a different role. While you've been running around trying to save this city, you've actually been arming us for a war. But then, it isn't always for us to know the role we play. And sometimes, once we've played it, our role... Oh, the know. real boss! Come on, you gotta reveal who you is. Zero Day got everything. Fuck. Here's where I would remind you that I've been trying to warn you about the Zero Day threat, if I was an unfeeling machine. I'm in no mood for a lecture. Where did the signal come from? I can't pinpoint the origin of the commands, but the admin accessed the drive through an IP range dedicated to autonomous vehicles. I have a general geolocation for it, and I suggest you make a visit now. Ubisoft be like, psych! I already knew the other guy wasn't the real villain, but that whole boss fight was like interesting. Or boss fight. <laughs> I've sent you the general location of the zero day hacker signal. As I said, I don't have their specific coordinates, so you'll have to search the area. Good luck and Godspeed. Okay. You're close to the origin point of the signal that hacked our network. Oh my god, I thought you were gonna make me teleport here and there. It felt like a boss fight till it didn't. The origin of the hacker signal is really close now. It'll be coming from a van. There's answers in that van. Let's find it. The van is driverless, but it does seem to be protected by armed drones. So, new plan, keep close enough to it while I trace the controlling signal. Fine, but if I die, I'm blaming you. I'll be sure to pass that on with your remains. Fuck. Damn it, they saw me. That's a lot of drones. That's a lot of drones. Oh god. No! Oh, I didn't know you can do that. Shit. Come on, we're almost there. Actually, wait. Oh, I can't do it in the car. Aiden has the blackout ability. But I can't seem to do it. Casually running over people as I try to run from the police. You know. Negative. No vision of the suspect. Trying 
Trace complete. The signal controlling the van originated in the Stockwell War Bunker. Good chance that's where Zero Day has been operating this whole time. If so, they certainly have a flair for the dramatic. Then it's time to put an end to the show. Send me the coordinates. So I'm guessing Switch is dead? Yeah, I don't think he's gonna make it, Agent. I don't think he is. Stockwell bunker, potential hideout of the evil universe dead sec that calls themselves Zero Day. I totally did not need to steal this car, but you know what? Well, you know. Well, unlucky. If it's Sabine, this game sucks. If Zero Day is Sabine, this game the sucks. The that descends into the Zero Day bunker is guarded by a strange security system. Some sort of copycat game. You'll need to solve it to gain access to the lower level. Don't, please don't disappoint me that hard, Ubisoft, please. Basically, Sabine... I don't know, are you ever gonna get this game? Because it's kinda... Spoilers, sort of. Don't worry too much, not like this story's gonna surprise me. Yup. What the fuck? Yo, 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 yo. Chill, bro. Don't say I didn't warn you. Well, I'd be careful not to muck it up next time. No pressure. Basically, Sabine... Basically, Sabine um, has been part of the story the whole time. Uh, all right, so the beginning of the game, DeadSec was in this. DeadSec was hacking something, right? And then Zero Day showed up, and then uh, Sabine was there for the initial explosion. And then, like, the explosion, Zero Day, the boss that we're about to fight, I guess, uh, made it look like DeadSec was responsible for the bombings. And Sabine has been guiding us, trying to regroup DeadSec as a, you know, as an activist hacking group. She was basically reforming us, right? And, uh, she was, like, stuck in a wheelchair from the explosion and everything like that. So, if it turns out to be her, that's the most lazy fucking writing and the most forced plot twist I've ever seen in my life. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here, by the way. Funny, zero day. That a ripoff of zero cool from hackers. Lol. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Am I? There was like a music code. It was like that, that, that. I guess it's a guessing game. It lights up. I'm an idiot. Did it always do that? They didn't have tech like this during the Blitz. Someone's been busy. <laughs> Shit. Shit, I... Shit. Uh... 
Okay, well. Ah, oh, there's two of them now, huh? Okay. Ubisoft lame, man. <laughs> Are you gonna, like, start over? I hope not. Boom. 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 This is so original. They were like, hey, this hasn't been done in the previous Watch Dogs game. So let's put them in. Let's do let's do this. Not the most inviting clubhouse, is it? Judging from the security above, I'd expect some unorthodox defense measures. That arm trap scares me. Humanity's forgotten its native state. Shit. <coughs> okay. Oh shit. Disable motherfucker. did this is one sick puppy. Aiden, shut up! Betray? Relax, relax, deactivate. Yo, that trap was armed because all the mannequins. You work for Ubisoft? That's <laughs> okay. Honestly, destroying one should have destroyed the other ones. Like, come on now. When we worship machines, we become machines. Technology. I see something ahead. Moving in. Oh, come on. That was better than Ubisoft cheese. Alright, alright. I think I found the Zero Day Brain Trust. Deserted, though. Bagley, what can you tell me about this place? It's, uh, huh, not authorized. How can it be not authorized? What? Not authorized by who? By, hmm, apparently I can't say. Can I say this is really fucking annoying? Oh, well, there's that, at least. No way. No shitty hacker messes with our Bagley. See what you can find. Yes, I may be able to analyze individual data points. Suggest you make this a quick investigation, though. I'm picking up Albion activity in the area. Possible they are searching for Zero Day as well. All this effort... What does it mean? Here's some lore, if you care. I don't. This is the Bagley source code, a copy of my brain from BrokerTech, code we acquired in Sky Larson's lab. Plot twist, the AI you're talking to is behind it all. Zero Day has reverse engineered Themis drones. Could they have their own? Yeah, I'm just talking fleet? out of my butt. I got no idea. 
See, I'm really thinking it's the the girl I mentioned, the one in the wheelchair. She hasn't said a damn thing. Zero Day has a backdoor into filament that deep surveillance supercomputer Malik was so concerned about. Zero Day appears to be running the chip tracking tech we acquired from Mary Kelly. Now, what do you suppose they're doing with it? Shit. Clearly, DedSec has been unwittingly nicking toys for Zero Day. I'm detecting some devices over in the crash pad that could fill in some details. Okay, before the reveal, I'm gonna take a piss. I'll be back. What do you get when you combine the old game Clue, Pipe Dream, and Simon Says? Watch Dogs Legion! <laughs> okay. So while I was pissing, I was thinking about the story and how shit is gonna be. Because in one of the last missions, when we were talking to the girl that I'm thinking, that is Zero Day. Our character, I don't know if it was Aiden. Um, but they were like, you're keeping the data? And then she was like, eh, you never know when it's useful. Please don't. Ouch, that looks like a stinger. Eh? Oh, ease up, please. Let him breathe. Our very own Guy Fawkes. The wrong master. Fuck you. We didn't set that bomb. We defused it. Even if I was inclined to believe a dead second sergeant, do you think it really matters at all? Since when does Albion get to play judge, jury, and executioner? You have no jurisdiction in London. Listen up. Get all your units to move in and lock down the city. Provide medical aid. Help the injured. And guns out. Let's make it look good for the fucking cameras. Understand? In AI, I'd say Nigel Cass had advanced knowledge of the London bombings and the location of that dead sex safe house. Almost like someone tipped him off. But I suppose you'll put this together in your own time. I couldn't help myself. I had to look this up. I'm not saying anything, but damn, I will let you find out. Thank you, thank you. I feel like I'm gonna be disappointed. It's time for a hard reset. Oh my god. Right. 
Breakups are hard. You'll be soft! Then I piled up my end. Release the filament code. Uh, one of your dead sex squad, he stopped the parliament bomb. I was rather counting on that one, to be honest. Ah! <laughs> this is still the largest terror attack in London's history. If you can't work with that... <laughs> oh, I'll work with it. The deal is off. Do you know who you're fucking with, Mr. Cass? I know you set off bombs across the city and fucked your friends. If you think it's hard, you're wrong. Oh, you get really? Up to the big girl toy like filament. Cleaner this way, love. Oh, it's not her? It oh my god, sense. please. Sabine was the one who wiped out your cell, and now she's poised to do it again. She's in zero day. Explains why she wiped my memory. There's a lot to unpack here, but more pressingly, I've pinpointed where Draw Britannia is running. That console right over She's there. She's in on it. Ah, okay, okay, okay. All right. This really takes us out of the ambience, you know? Can we just go from cutscene to cutscene instead of me, like... Found Drew Britannia. Putting the puzzle the pieces together? CTOS patch. I don't think I can stop it. No one can stop it. That's the whole point. So. Impressed? All right, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe if I knew what the patch did. It's society's big wipe. While DeadSec runs around fixing bugs, I'm deleting the source code. Frying the hardware too, all of it. It's actually a beautiful thing you've done by helping to steal all that tech. <laughs> yeah. Well, looks like she was not in a wheelchair. He doesn't hide in the dark. I don't know anymore. Like a cockroach. Tell me, when does the rest of Zero Day get here? Oh, it's just me. I learned very early on that no one was willing to make real sacrifice for change. In the end, history's actors work alone. Okay, so you're basically a crazy person. Ouch. I had hoped you might at least understand why I did it. Why we recruits? I am sorry, but once again, DeadSec has outlived its usefulness. Spread out! Millions will suffer today. It's an honor to die among them. Search the area! She's not zero day? I need time to crack the security system and open the blast doors. Try to survive until the process is complete. Hurry. God, I hate aiming with a controller. Obvious and not cliche enough. Mm. I have a second guess. I have a second guess. Not gonna say it right now though. God, am I dumb? How do I get out? I'm an idiot. Hold on, bro. We've been in here too long. And I'm too fucking discombobulated. Another exit. Ah. Albion has dispatched personnel to intercept operatives across the city. Shit. More of them. Ah, I should have betrayed, damn it. All right, relax, relax. They just won't give up. Wow, 
Wow. Oh god. No, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Stop. I want to complete the game as Aiden. I ain't trying to use a character that don't matter. Might be copyright. Aiden should have been the one putting the team together to start with. I think the story would have been more engaging if they included him properly. Instead of stupid DLC. Yeah. Hey, Royce! We're just dogging Ubisoft. What? Like usual. Shit. How you doing? Alright, I think I'm clear. Yes, brilliant work. Same here. It's how they under all of us. We need to meet and figure this out. Ah, oh, fuck. Sabine has leaked your locations to Albion. All operatives are currently compromised. I suggest you all lay low and avoid any large groups. I'll send you a low-key meeting spot. Face cam has to go off for a little bit. Call this an ambush? Just to be clear, we're on normal difficulty. This is copyright. The fuck? Yeah, that fucking car. Hello? Bagley, what's going on? I'm not sure, but I've secured an alternate location for an emergency meeting far from the safe house. Pushing the coordinates now. Yeah, well. Hey, there's the fam. Where am I going? I think we're about done with the main game. Hey Royce, Kev, how we doing today? Doing good, mate. I'm gonna rip this fucking game to shreds after I'm done with this. After, as soon as I see the credits, I'm going for the goddamn throat. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking drag this bitch through the goddamn mud. I'm about to treat this game like YouTube. What? Not even Santa could save this, huh? We'll see. We'll see. The story... I don't think it's that bad. We'll see how the story goes. I don't know. This is unpopular opinion, but, uh... I do enjoy this more than Watch Dogs 2. Very unpopular opinion, I know, I know. But I, I enjoy this way more. I'm sorry. Like, gameplay-wise, like, the gameplay aspect, I enjoy a lot more. Bagley, where is everyone? Securing a single safe location was impossible, so I sent you all to different ones. Safe? I'm stranded on a fucking drone barge. Best than a flooded loo. Ugh. If you're all quite finished complaining about the precise manner in which I saved your ingrate asses, let's get on with the briefing. Um, but for sure get it on sale. For sure. 
Uh, actually, same. Life is hella good right now. Hey, that's Pog. Watch Dogs 2 was boring. I stopped halfway through. Watch Dogs 1 I beat. First one was the best. Hey, hell yeah, dude. I've actually never... The, see, here's the thing. The positive reviews from Watch Dogs 2... I've never seen anybody in my chat say they like Watch Dogs 2 like that. It's always from something else. Like a, like a review site. Or... You know, like a media post. But it's never... Like, I've never actually met anybody who was... Well, there's Royce. Alright, there it is. <laughs> we found him. What the fuck? When you start this briefing, all activities... Yeah, 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 yeah. Beat the game, bro. G give me to the fucking credits. Damn. London. Who is you? This is Zero Day. Nice to finally meet. Those little bombings a few months back were my way of saying hello. Now we'll really get, get to know each other. Can we? technology you've come to love so well. Texting your man, driving your car. Are you gonna be my second guest or are you gonna do a bamboozle? It's all about to turn against you. Tonight, your modern world will become a living hell. I don't expect you to understand this, but what I'm doing is good. Destruction is always the cure. I'll wait until- I'll wait until they reveal it. I- I don't think it's my second guess. I think I'm way off. Way off in the first one. Right. Pay attention, everyone. This is big. I've uncovered what the Draw Britannia patch is for. It's for me. Zero Day, aka Sabine, is using a Bagley OS update that will allow me and all other Bagleys to simultaneously access any vulnerable systems connected to CTOS. My OS is integrated into core infrastructure across Britain, power plants, airports, hospitals, banks, and the like. Once I access these systems, the patch will make me compromise them to the point of failure. The cumulative effect means the complete collapse of London, and likely the country, which I suspect is her goal. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but the update is already spreading. Sabine thought of everything. Is there a way to, I don't know, kill every Bagley? Your callous nonchalance about my death may actually be the answer. We need to get into Brockatech. Exactly. You have to destroy the servers that host me and take down the Boom network at the same time, so I can't access my backups. One of you get to Broker, and one of you get to Bloom Tower. I'll explain on the way. I'm kind of getting hyped for this. <laughs> I really thought it would be, uh... Sabine. But I'm actually intrigued now that it's not. Hmm. Draw Britannia has been triggered. There are now millions of me's destroying London infrastructure. You'd this is a new waypoint. There must be an option that doesn't delete Barkley. It's not blue anymore. He's one of us. We've ascended. It's We're super no saying now. Time to get sentimental. It's a sacrifice we have to make. There are countless lives on the line here. Greed. Now, how do we make this happen? Coordination. You need to get to the tower, take Bagley offline, but that won't stop the attack on its own. You guess right about something, huh? We'll begin a reboot immediately. Taking him offline provides a short window for another operative to take down his servers permanently. Teamwork, fam. Do your shit. Pass the baton. If this is our last mission together, Bagley, let's make it count. This is giving me Watch Dog One vibes, where everything gets hacked. Nice originality. Ubisoft. Good job on that one. Looking like Chicago over here. Okay. Well. Better hurry. I've already scrambled medical supply chains. Hospitals will be non-functional. You fucking ambulance! Does this tell me how far it is? Imagine I was supposed to have auto drive on the whole time. You're out for a 
Sunday drive, I'm busy shutting down air traffic control. I'm sure that will be just fine. Damn, they're killing people. Laser into death. The robot's losing it. Sorry, language settings fuck up. I said caution, security is unusually high in Blue Tower. I can still be stealthy. Okay, I'm gonna try. Is that Bagley doing that? Hey, whoa, 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 don't shoot me. Calling the elevator now. I'll let you know when I reach the top. Hope we have someone in position at Broca. They guys just casually let me do this. Yep. Thanks guys. I'm trying to save the city, you know? Appreciate it. What the fuck is this? Here we are. Standing up on death's door. It's my death, so I don't know what you're getting all poetical about. Brockatech. Our old I'm friend assuming Scott Larson it... lives on through her grotesque corporation. If my research checks out, Bagley runs extremely hot. It requires a massive cooling system. Damage the coolant tanks, and it should trigger emergency access to the servers. I'm assuming it picked this guy, because this is the this is the person I used mainly through the entire game. Oh my god. Hey look, more collectibles. What the hell? Stop. So what I've ready, yes, Sabine was behind the issue, but not literally zero day. That's all I'm saying. Okay, okay. All right. Oh God. Well, there goes the stealth run. Who's calling? You? Bitch. I'm gonna keep the MP9 out, fuck it. Actually, let's make our life easier, huh? a release of coolant I'm not under pursuit Thank and you. you've triggered emergency access to my server chamber I can't wait to see my brain to these control panels you're you destroying take them offline and I'll head down steers and hang up back to these brilliant servers Curiosity kills the cat, and I think I'm gonna die after I find out who it is. The tower receives data packets for my updates. 
If you want to trace the packet signal back to my main servers, just climb the tower to reach the transmitter at the top. I'm not the spry young fox I used to be, Bagley. I'm gonna miss your total disregard for my safety. But not that much. Wow, that's like special dialogue. He actually oh, mentioned the fox. The transmitter up top is locked off. I have a solution. Using a drone to force the fins to change positions will place them in an error state. That will allow you to request that the access door be unlocked for routine maintenance. Clever, Bagley. Time to fiddle with the signal controlling the fins to unlock access to the top of the tower. Brilliant. You've manipulated the first set of fins. Keep going. Oh my god, they turn an entire building into pipe dream. <laughs> god damn it. I actually like the pipe. Uh, the pipe dream mechanic. If they didn't have this in this game, I would have been a little harsh. Okay. Oh, you clever bitch. Cheeky motherfucker. Unlock this. Then we can unlock that one. Actually having trouble. Is that not supposed to open? Am I dumb? This is supposed to open, right? You missed one? Oh god. The left. See it? <laughs> no. Hold up, hold up. This is the longest one uh, for me in this game. Hold on. a red circle this one the fuck am I supposed to unlock it well yeah Obviously, my brain ain't working right now. Uh... Oh, fuck.
I'm actually confused. Turn this to this, right? And then... Got it. Wow, those fins do look off. You have a knack for messing things up, don't you? Keep doing Shut it. Shut the fuck up, Bagley. Shut your mouth. I swear it didn't take me this long for the other ones, alright? I swear to you. You miss you to scan of the fins. You'll need to wait while the system flags them and triggers a maintenance request. A loaded drones are about to pull up on your position. Watch your ass. Yes, try not to die. The scan must complete to unlock access to the top of the tower. You swear? Language. Wait, I could just betray, right? Instead of... Alright, alright, alright. Hacking becomes a progress bar. Oh god. Should be the last drone, right? What the fuck? It fucked off. Oh, don't tell me I'm gl- Alright, come back up, come back up. Thank you. ASX had the best minigame hacking, in my opinion, if you're gonna use a minigame. True, I enjoyed it. I tried playing it, but, um... I had to cancel it because I kind of missed a side mission, and uh, <laughs> it would have gave me OCD. That's done it. The tower and I didn't have a save file to go back to. The maintenance ladder has unlocked. Nice. But from what I played, I enjoyed it. is just above. Reach it and take me offline before I destroy the entire. What's your thoughts on Cyberpunk? Uh, digital design. Suspending transmission. Activate the next terminal to take me offline. Just the reveal? Love Cyberpunk. Shit. But the driving needed work and the hacking was lame. You just can't get enough of me, can you? Or are you just incredibly stupid? Do you want me to access the transmitter while you socialize? Yes. Yes! You're incredibly stupid! Wonderful! 
I see DeadSec hasn't changed the his hacking, brand. The hacking, hacking, not the quick hacking. You'll need to stall for time and remain near the transmitter unit. Come on, Sabine. Deep down, you know this isn't the way to fix things. Fix? Well, you think we can fix this? What, with crypto-anarchism? Protesting? Doxing? Optics are glorified cattle tags. Albion shoots civilians in broad daylight. Snitching is now a means of survival. No. Six nine? You skids can't fix anything. Believe me, I get the cynical lone wolf thing. It's hard to see the good out there, but you have to try. And you're the arbiter of goodness. This dialogue seems specific to Aiden, ask, I'm not sure. How many have you killed since DeadSec restarted? See? Lone Wolf? A tiny tweak in your philosophy and we're on the same page. The tower's fins must be collapsed to complete the trace. I cannot initiate this hack, but you can. Are you saying what I think you're it saying? It is specific. We get the oh, band back shit. Again. Oh, sweet, but no. I'm saying I was in denial, too. Shackled by their technology, their morality. But my hard reset wipes the slate clean. I kind of like that. So we can all start again. I'm sad you won't be around to see it. Sorry about that, Sabine. Reminds me of Damien. It reminds me of Watch Dogs 1, if I gotta be honest. Bye bye, Biatch. Should have had more cyberspace stuff and cyberpunk. Maybe use that to try and do the hacking stuff. It's like a mausoleum. These data containers are alive with cognitive activity your fleshy human mind can neither comprehend nor ever hope to equal. Rude. Look at all these containers. It takes hours to find yours. If you disable the data center's cooling system, it will trigger an emergency shutdown to prevent overheating. This failsafe ejects four of my data containers containing key okay, systems. Okay, well, with Sabine gone, now visible, what are you thinking? Allowing you to I mean, you said Sabine wasn't it, update. so... I'm just waiting for the fucking reveal, man. Why are they like teasing it so much? What no? Destroy the temperature regulators to trigger the automated shutdown procedure. I'm onto it. Is there fucking stairs? I guess this. Um I apologize in advance, but I'm about to start Ow. What the fuck? I'm afraid I have no choice but to defend my core server. It's a hard coded security protocol. Nothing personal. Good oh god, luck. oh god, don't go. Oh hell. Oh, this is fucking annoying. On the stairs. Nope. Nope. Now you've done it. Security forces are converging on your position now. Oh, do you want to bet on Fuck. whether you or me will die first? I'm 
onto it. What? <laughs> what he say to me? I'm detecting a rise in temperature. It's so good. Not hot enough though. Another cooling system is still operational. There's been a steep rise in t t temperature. Shall I call emergency services? No, don't. Are your cognitive links starting to break down? Yes, it is getting harder to think. I'm almost down to your level. The overheat protocols have activated. My data containers are above you. Use the drone to get up there. I'm on to it. Go, 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 go. Don't shoot at me, please. NPC be like, bro. Mind if I join you? I think it's safe down. I think it's safe from here from the intruder. Do I gotta physically be here? I'm pretty sure. Oh shit, he's onto it. I'm not worried, you understand? It's just that projections indicate a severe decrease in your efficiency after I'm gone. Hey, don't worry, Bugly. You've left us a strong foundation. Thank you. And I'm, I'm sorry I said I shagged your mums earlier. I just thought insulting you would make this easier. You hear that sad music? Bagley about to die? It's a shit I have a list of goals that's never going to get accomplished now. I had such plans for future. Give us a list, Bagley. We'll check off the boxes. Oh, don't be stupid. You wouldn't know where to begin. Turning into a cyborg hive mind. Check off boxes? Royce? I just got data from my first successful recruit. That's surprisingly sentimental of you, Bugly. Correct. It seems, however, that I am not immune. Deactivating this container will be the same as the others. No, it really won't. Yes, you simply really choose them. No, once it's done, it's done. There's no turning back. It's what needs to be done. If you're worried about me, rest assured I was reprogrammed to serve DedSec, and it serves you, and London. So please, allow me to fulfill my purpose and help you. Oh shit, that was this game. I thought it was my game. I was like, why is it getting a little sad? Your game, huh? You streaming? Huh? It won't be the same without you. Error 21255. Language processor. May I stop this operation? If there are any other I'm sorry. It's too late. I have new thoughts. Where do AIs go when they die? Will I upload to a cloud? Perhaps I will see you again as a component in your motorized wheelchair when you are old and grown. Easy does it, Bugly. It's a nice thought. Think, thought, idea, memory. Bradley loves strawberries. Rowing. Arthur, the one that got away. What does this mean? It's the one that got away. It means you. You've lost someone you didn't want to. I'm um, uh, getting away. Farewell, Bugley. Was that name drop, huh? Huh? Plot drags on. It's not thickening, it's dragging. 
Bloom is now confirming that the deadly infrastructure attack plaguing London has finally been purged from all CTOS systems. The identities of the zero-day hacker group <laughs> behind the attack are still unknown, but sources confirm that DedSec stopped the virus. What? In the wake of last week's Bagley attack, thousands of Londoners are, quote, jailbreaking their optic devices, thereby... I'm excited to see this, but what? CTA SIRS has issued a stark warning. This fucking game does Dragon Ball Z me? A foothold in London, led by a passionate new deputy commissioner, Caitlin Lau. Is there multiple endings? Until the Met's dignity is I'm confused. The Kentish Town Council Estate have declared their public housing project a no Kelly zone. Organizers claim they are what? forced to take safety into their own. Alright, spill the beans, digital design. Who the who was it? Albion engineer, Hamish Bologi has blown the whistle on yet another Albion scandal, this time involving a backroom crowd control... So since it might be over, people were saying it was an AI. To leak evidence of abuse of power Who the fuck is Albion Arthur? ...and corruption within SIRS via the DedSec app. Thousands of pictures, audio, and video recordings... I can't even review the game. I have to let this play. ...known only as the 404 are stepping into the daylight, releasing evidence today... Until next time on Watch Stars, whatever the next game is called. Yeah! Corporate watchdogs praise the group for checking the power of a once untouchable corporate elite. In another clash with Albion units in support of the so called DedSec resistance. The group itself has been conspicuously quiet since the Bagley attack, leaving many to ask has DedSec disappeared once again? Are we done? Can I talk? Can I repeat the game? Oh, we're not there yet, unfortunately, Karagal. We're not there yet. We got DLC. But I'm gonna go ahead and review the main game now. So... If I had to describe what this game was... Stale. Lacking in some aspects. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and start with graphics. I absolutely despise this game's graphics. Um, it runs like dog shit. No pun intended. Oh, it's an open world game, but the open world part was fucking laggy. Like, the fuck, dude? I have graphics all the way on the lowest setting. I got 2080 Ti. Unbelievable. This game, I feel like I got a cursed fucking game or something. But I don't, I don't want to spend money on it on Steam or something, right? Because this is straight from the Ubisoft store. I don't want to buy another fucking copy of the game to see if the Steam version runs better. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. It just... I saw somebody else playing this game with ray tracing on. They were getting good FPS, and it was pretty. I don't know, man. I think my game's cursed. I got a fucked up copy of the fucking game, dude. I bought this at launch. I... Th launch? No, like a, a few weeks after launch. It, it was still pretty new. There's no Steam version? Shit, maybe the Epic fucking games version is better. I don't fucking know. Um, they made it sound like Sabine was the one behind corrupting the AI. Hmm. Interesting. Same for Epic? Really? Well, either way, I had a bad experience with this game, graphic-wise. It takes... Listen, listen. It takes... Five plus minutes to boot up. I'm on SSD. They're all SSDs, okay? It takes five fucking minutes to boot up, bro. And that's without the HD textures installed. If you go back in the playlist, in the Watch Dogs playlist, episode zero, it crashed my stream. Opening the game crashed my stream. Um, some people, you know, the game might look pretty, but not to me, man. I, it looks like fucking shit. The textures were ass. Um, and if you look at the graphics preview on the settings, right? If you go to settings, you go to the graphics option and you like tick all the environmental shit up to high and ultra. It doesn't even look that great, man. I really think Watch Dogs 2 look better, dude. I'm, I'm just going to be honest, man. I think Watch Dogs 2 look better to me. And I could run that on fucking high. Like, come on, man. 
Yeah, something's up with your fucking config. I don't know what it is. I, I look I have to give the graphics a score. It's not even gonna get a one, but I can't give it a zero. It's getting a 0 0.1 out of fucking five. It is straight dog shit. <laughs> Like, I don't know what it is. I tried everything uh, to make it run good. Um, I'll, I've been, I tried to look it up. Um, like over the, over the interwebs, right? But they all say to do this and do that, update your driver, do this, but it's, it's not working, man. It's just not, something is not connecting. Fucking Aiden looks like a fucking homeless dude. Wrench. Looks like he he's straight out of college, but he's fucking 44 years old. And his his hairline's fucked up. Um I don't know. If I crank this game up, up anymore, it will fucking destroy my system. And I don't know what it is. But Aiden does look like a bum a bit. Damn right. They all have it on Ultra and are getting 60 plus FPS, and it looks pretty. Here, my, my thing was, uh, what if this game ran better? What if the DLC ran better than the actual main game? That's my worry. If the DLC runs better somehow, then that that's saying something. I don't know. Um, yeah, the character models are trash. The cinematics are all 30 FPS, which is a big gripe I had on the first, on, on Watch Dogs 2, where the fucking cutscenes reduced to 30 FPS to make it more cinematic. But the graphics were the exact fucking same. They sh just let it go to 60 FPS, man. Just let the cinematics go to 60. I don't understand. Wait, what CPU you got? Uh, fuck, bro. Uh, do a, do a command. Uh, exclamation mark specs. You should see it there. Um, it's it's a beefy one, I think. It's a pretty good one. But yeah, graphics, they get a 0 0.1 out of 5 for me, okay? The story, eh. The story is going to be a 3 out of 5. It's average, middle of the road, nothing too memorable, sort of forgetful. Um, saving London was the main uh, plot line, and I think the premise of it was okay. You have the 9700K. Is that shit? I mean, once I got this computer, it was kind of shit. Sometimes games don't know how to make proper use of that. Oh, really? Spec-wise, I think it's good, but I think, um... It could be what you said, where, uh... Sometimes games don't know how to make proper use of that. I don't know. Um, the side missions were really shit. Honestly, they're forgettable. They were a waste of time. They were just there to, to you know, fill the quota for side missions and extra content. Like I said, quantity over quality most of the time. So that the side missions were it is what it is situation. Um, the annoying part was. It wouldn't give me all the side missions at once, except the beginning. But like for the most part, after that, right, the regular side missions that came in with the game, it's like at launch. Um, it was like they wouldn't activate all at once, like the string of the string of the missions. Like you have to do a main mission or reload the game, and then it will have a mission available. Like you had to go back and forth, uh, which is annoying. Um, so you, you couldn't get all the side missions all at once and take care of them. The new side missions in the beginning of the game, those were new, according to Switch. And, um... I don't know. They added more side missions for no reason, but they had no weight on them. Also, this might be a spoiler for some. Digital design, I know you don't care, so I'm just gonna say it. In the game, in the story... They killed a dog. Ubisoft killed a dog in a game called Watch Dogs. You weren't fucking watching the dog, in it? The fuck? <laughs> Hello? That was 
was stupid. Um, also, the story was not very consistent. It jumps uh, from villain to villain. It's not like one straight, narrow, like story-wise. Like, we met Clan Kelly first, right? The old grandma. And then we would switch over to, like, someone else. And then we would go back to Clan Kelly. Why didn't you just finish off the Clan Kelly arc before going to another character? Or another villain, right? Kind of kind of makes me lose track of the fucking story a little bit. Um, so the story, yeah, the story gets 3 out of 5. I need to fucking Google who Arthur is. I want to say Arthur was the guy that we... That we, um... It was like the first main mission that we did. Where he, we found out that he was dead, maybe. I'm not sure. I, I, I gotta look it up. But, average story. 3 out of 5. Nothing good, nothing bad. It is what it is. Um, gameplay. This was the highlight of this game for me, if I gotta be honest. So, coming into this game, at launch, what resolution are you playing at? 1080. 1080. Uh, let me read this right quick. I've been ignoring you. I've been going off. Um... I have a 6700 in certain games. My old ass CPU does better than that newer CPU. It shouldn't, it shouldn't, but it happens. Your CPU should run circles around mine. It's where sometimes it happens. Hmm, yeah. But resolution, see, the resolution, actually, uh, I used to play, um, when this launched, I had a different setup, and I would play on my, uh, my 1440p monitor, and you can imagine, and it's the same outcome. I had to lower the graphics all the way down. So, either way, either way, 1440p or 1080p, I'm getting the same results. I want to say 1080p, I get a little bit more. A little bit more frames, but barely an inch. Um, also, the thing that sucks about graphics being so low, or low of a score, is that it kind of dips into the other categories, like story, right? Like, how am I supposed to focus and enjoy the story if like the facial character the facial the facials of each character's face looks like ass it looks like they put on fucking makeup and shit like it's all pasty and, and disgusting like how am i supposed to enjoy that like you i'm supposed to tell like the emotions but it's hard to do that with low graphics and low texture quality and the same thing with the gameplay it dips into gameplay as well because um like, like I said, the map, I, I, I fast traveled a lot in this game just to avoid driving in this laggy ass city. So, just it, like, sometimes it glitches out, sometimes it lags when I'm supposed to, like, do a takedown and then I get fucking caught. It just messes with, up with everything, man. Graphics should be like, you don't have to look pretty, but you should look decent, at, at least released in 2020, man. Um,. But when I first came into this game at launch, I was kind of worried that this game would be drone heavy. And it's drone heavy to a certain extent, but it's not as much as I thought. Because Watch Dogs 2, the problem I had with Watch Dogs 2 is that everything can be done with the, uh, with the bot. With the, not, it's not a drone. What the fuck would it be called? Um, whatever bot that, uh, Marcus had in Watch Dogs 2. Apparently, you can complete the entire game without even using Marcus, the main protagonist in that game. And that just threw me off a little bit, you know what I mean? So, I'm glad this, this game was not too heavy on the drone. I actually like the cargo bot drone, where you can get on top of the drone. These are long fucking credits, by the way. They, they must have a lot of voice actors. Um, usually, it would have been done by now. Um, yeah. I'm glad that the game wasn't too drone heavy and wasn't too focused. Um... Melee combat is satisfying. The best thing I love about this game is the melee combat, especially when you take certain people down. You start, like, the punching sounds in this game are real fucking satisfying to hear. Um, you, yeah, link a video. I mean, no, I, no, you don't gotta link a video. I've already seen it, man. Like, everyone else's game is running fine, except mine. Like, I, I've already went through it all. Uh, I don't, I don't really need any more convincing. I just got, like, a shitty copy of the game or something. I don't know. Um... And I looked everywhere, man. Don't don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. 
what's done is done. You know what I mean? Um, what else? What else? What else? Enjoy the melee combat. The driving in this game is a mix. It's actually kind of funny. It's a mix of one and two. One, when you crash into certain cars, and two, for the smoothness of the driving. As smooth as it can get, you know, under 60 FPS or what the fucking never frame drops I got during this. But, uh... The, the, driving's, the driving's good when you're not lagging. I like it. It's a mix of it's a mix of one and two. I would say. Um the auto drive is dope as fuck. Um only thing annoying about the auto drive is every time you activate it, there has to be a setting in the game, but every time you activate auto drive, Siri comes out and it's like auto drive enabled. Auto drive disabled. Like I've been I was trying to activate auto drive every time during like dialogue or whatever phone call my character had with the dead sec. But every time I would do it, it's like auto drive enabled. Auto drive disabled. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know? So that was annoying, but auto drive feature is pretty nice. I like it. And then I like how the little detail of uh when, when auto drive is enabled, your character's just fucking texting like in a Tesla. That's pretty cool. Um, the game does, doesn't stray too far away from the actual series name. It still does feel like a Watch Dogs game. They included the, uh, the whole, uh, puzzle thing, um, puzzle tower or whatever, uh, that you were talking about earlier. So I enjoyed that. I'm glad they kept that in. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, this game is very Assassin's Creed Syndicate heavy. Or like a mirage, sort of. It's like a mirror of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. And... Um... Like, we've taken over the boroughs. In Assassin's Creed Syndicate, we also did the same. The map layout looks exactly the same. I've never been to London personally. I don't know how much it has changed. Um, since whatever place Assassin's Creed Syndicate took place. But, so, you, you, I kind of kind of really can't say anything about the map. Um, yeah, it, it just felt like the, the fighting, the whole fighting side mission felt like Assassin's Creed Syndicate, going around the city looking for tech points kind of felt like Assassin's Creed Syndicate. It's just, they were like, hey, you know what? We Didn't we have a fucking game that was from London, mate? Let's fucking copy and paste it, put some fucking technology up in this bitch, isn't it? It's like, goddamn. Such originality, bro. Nice. <laughs> um... I hate saying this, but the game felt a little too easy. I should have had permadeath mode on. It felt kind of easy, man. Especially with Bagley walking you through the game. Oh, like if you have this upgrade, you should do this. Oh, you know how to get past that? You do this. Like every time you take a while, you, you took a while, Bagley would like have his input and be and tell you how to really, you know, proceed on with the level. So kind of too easy I recommend playing this game with perma death mode on um, and you know if you're a hardcore gamer I guess you can play it on hard as well so if I ever play through this game again never but if I ever did <laughs> in some alternate universe uh, I would probably play with perma death on and maybe even fucking hard who knows so also speaking of difficulty the cops never went past two stars It never went past two stars. The whole game. We're at the credits. It never went past two. Other games, Watch Dogs 1's cops especially, they were on your fucking ass. Especially during the last mission. Watch Dogs 2 cops were on your ass. This game was like a fucking breath of fresh air when it comes to cops, so. Which is uh, interesting. You could take it or leave it, I guess. Um... Also, some enemy, some areas didn't have as many enemies as I thought. Watch, talk, watch Dogs 2 cops kick ass. Yup, yup. Um, so yeah. Uh, certain areas, certain levels didn't have as much enemies. Like, let's say we have like a big area, like a construction site, and there would only be three fucking, uh, three cops in that area. And then you just proceed on with the main mission or something like that, with the objective. 
Also, I do like how you can scour through almost every fucking building in this game with the cargo drone, which I really do enjoy. And some, most of the buildings were actually like, you can get on top of them. They had their own platform. So it's pretty good. And water physics are amazing. <laughs> Speaking of water physics, this game fucking sucks when it comes to that. There ain't no water splash sounds in sight. I wish I could have kept the fucking counter every time I go in the water and it would not dip. The only time there was splash sounds were during the Assassin's Creed Easter egg. That was it, bro. That was it. All the budget went into that fucking leap of faith. Yeah, literally, no matter what resolution you play at, it's probably the same performance. That's freaking weird. The fuck? Yup. So if I, since I'm already having issues with 1080p, imagine 4K, I would get the same thing. Actually, imagine 720p, I'll get the same thing. Yeah, my shit's fucked. Um... 30 to 40 FPS. Yep. Across the board, more or less. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what else do I gotta say? Uh, can't pick up guns. Only Aiden can pick up guns. Uh, I found that very late in the game. Can we just talk about how long these graphics are? I mean, the, the credits? That's a lot! You all participated in this game and it runs like shit? The fuck? It's still going. I can speed it up, but I'm talking here. <laughs> the fuck, dude? All these people worked on the game. It got delayed and it still runs like dog shit. That is mind boggling to me. The hell? What the fuck you doing over there, Ubisoft? Jesus. It makes zero sense. Exactly. This game makes zero sense. But yeah, only, uh, you can't pick up guns in the game. They're all, um, dedicated to the own characters. And I know what they were going for. But they were trying to do something new, right? Let's not have a main protagonist. Let's have multiple protagonists. And then if one dies... You can go to the other one, but like, there's no emotional attachment. You don't really care for a certain character, because once they die, you can just switch. And you can recruit the same amount of people, like, you can recruit, like, multiple spies. You can have a whole team full of spies and just keep switching from there. Um, so... That's like a 50-50 thing, I don't really know what they were trying to go for that. Um, there, like I said, there's no grenades, only grenade launchers. Watch Dogs 1 had the whole crafting thing. They took that out in Watch Dogs 2, so I didn't really expect it to come back here. And also, the currency in the game is only for cosmetics. I think Ubisoft has a mask fetish. Because every collectible in this game is a fucking mask. And that's the only thing that really stands out compared to everyone, like, compared to every other, like, cosmetic. The shirts don't care, like, the shirts don't matter, the fucking pants don't matter, but the helmets are all they cared about in this game. Uh, so yeah, Ubisoft has a fucking mass fetish, bro. I don't know what's going on with that. Um. Now, the upgrading. I think the upgrade was okay for what it was for this game, but I would have thought, I would have, this, this is how I would have done the, the upgrades, I. Right? Each character, let's say, a, let's, let's, you have one leveling tree. Or like, because the, the, it was split by gadgets, hacking, weapons, right? Or like, those four categories, three, four categories. I feel like every one of them should have had that going for it. But let's just say Spy has more of a... Like, if you hire a Spy, it would be, mo it will be more dominant heavy on... Uh, on like let's say gadgets or something and then like a beak like a like a construction would have more on the weapons or the gadgets right like a, a specific tree a, they're dominant in one aspect compared to other characters that's how i would have done it instead of just having the same like tech fucking upgrade screen i feel like each character should have had their own uniqueness when it comes to the upgrade so that's how I would have done it. I kind of half-ass explained that, but 
Hopefully someone gets me, right? Each character having a dominant area in, in, a, in a dominant department, like gadgets. This guy has a dominant on the hacking, and then you can upgrade whatever it is the other guy has that the other guy can't have. Peace. <laughs> um, moving on. Oh, that's all I wrote. Okay. So, gameplay. It does get stale quite a bit. But not stale like Watch Dogs 2. I'm giving this a 4. It's not perfect. Not even close. But I'm gonna give it a 4 out of 5 for graphics. I mean, not for gameplay. Fuck graphics. Um, so, there's the subcategories. Now, this game is 60 fucking bucks. <laughs> Do I recommend buying this game for 60 bucks? Hell no. You can miss me with that shit. Um, you know, I actually bought this game not full price. Believe it or not, like a week after it was released. The credits are still going! <laughs> Blacks for life. If you're not a bot, thanks for the follow. If you're a bot, hey, you're not a bot. Hey. <laughs> hey, what's up? What's up? Uh, we're just reviewing the game right now. Um, waiting for this credits to end. Actually, uh, after I done with the review, I might just fast forward the credits. But um, yeah, we're just talking about the game. We're hanging out. I might start the DLC if AJ doesn't uh, want to play Valheim today. I'm asking people's votes about MGK and Eminem. Nani? Rap Devil versus Kill Shot. Chat? Thoughts? Um, same thing with off. You must turn it on. It's ridiculous. RTX option 80. DLS says ultra performance on right. Same FPS 35 to 45. Uh, they say they added 720p on there at the end, and even the same FPS, literally no difference. Ubisoft must have somehow limited the FPS. Uh, you can get it for 24 by itself right now. Oh, really? Well, if it's for if it's for 24 bucks, I mean, go ahead, but do not pay full price for this game, all right? I'm not gonna make any deals with Ubisoft in the future by saying this, but listen, I keep it real here, okay? So, um, but to answer your question, Flex for Life, kill shot for the win. Not even a not even a question. Not even a... It's not even a choice there. Um... Yeah, I want to say the most you can pay for this game is probably 30 to 40. Um... I... It cannot go over 40 bucks. But and what was it? What was I saying? Uh... I bought this game a week after it came out, right? Only a week after the fucking... It was on a discount. There's a setting in game called FPS limit. There's no way that's it, bro. I have it on 120. It couldn't even get up there. But we'll test that theory in a second. Um, I'll have it unlimited. We'll see. If that was the thing that was causing me, that's your issue? Limiting my FPS to 120 is an issue, huh? Don't set it to 120 or unlimited. Set it to 60. But I have a 144 hertz monitor, man. What the fuck? We'll see. Um, yeah, only buy the game if it's on sale. <laughs> yeah, but Ubisoft don't know how to make game engines. Fax, true. Um, but yeah, I got the game like 20% off. I have the season pass and everything. I got the ultimate edition, which included Aiden, right? But here's the thing. If you played this game, I feel bad for anybody who played this game at launch because you didn't get Aiden. You didn't, you didn't get the new extra side missions. So we're talking like you missing out. You're not, you're not missing out on too much content because it's quantity over quality, right? But you're missing like... 
three strings of side missions that are available in the beginning of the game. You're missing Aiden. And you're, you're just stuck with whoever you recruit. And they're not that great. So... Maybe now it's worth the game. Maybe now it's worth the, the full price. But I, honestly, the story isn't all that. The gameplay isn't all that. The graphics ain't shit. So... I uh, don't know. I don't recommend it. And that's my stance on it. Um, since we're at the end, this is like the this is like the end of Watch Dogs, right? I'm not gonna count DLC in here, but if I had to put this on a tier list, this is the first time of me doing this actually. If we're going on a tier list, now I can give every single game a rating. Now, I played through all of them. I like this better than Watch Dogs 2. So it goes like this. Watch Dogs 1. Not even close. Then Watch Dogs Legion. And then Watch Dogs 2 all the way down fucking here. If I had to give it a rating... Watch Dogs 1 gets an 8. That seems kind of high. Because if you look at it, it's just... It is what it is, right? But I'll, I'll give it an 8. I'll be generous. Watch Dogs Legion gets a 6. Watch Dogs 2 gets a 5. There you go. There it is. Now. Can I... The fuck? Oh, it's up. Yeah, I agree. 8 for Watch Dogs 1. Once they got it running smooth. It took some patches for that. Yeah, I heard about that too. Legion's not sure. Maybe at best a 6.5 to 7. Yeah, I think 7's a little too generous. I'll give it a 6 though. 6 is solid. For this game. Watch Dogs 2 is definitely a 5. It can get, It can go even lower if I gotta be honest. The thing that Watch Dogs 2 puts above uh, Watch Dogs Legion is the fact that you can pick up guns, right? So. But that whole fucking um, stun gun bullshit, that was annoying. Alright, looks like we're not tackling the DLC today, boys. How is there this many credits left? I don't understand. Can I use arrow keys? No. Wait. Oh, thank God. Graphics performance and the gun thing are turning me off on this one. Also, story is predictable as hell. Yeah. I didn't like Watch Dogs 2 story either. I don't even remember it. Watch Dogs 1 had a had a also, you know, a cliche story, right? Um, she was, uh, Aiden was trying to save his niece, right? Or trying to find the murder of the niece. Which is, you know, cliche, generic, but... I don't know. Something about that, they did better than this. I don't know what it is. And if you think those are long, you'll fall out of your chair when Squadron 42 comes out. Sick has, like, nearly 800 employees. God damn! Cyberpunk credits were like this, and that's not counting partners. I don't even know what game you're talking about, but I'm worried. <laughs> Let me look up who Arthur is.
Wow, Bagley is a sister of the girl that killed her dog. Interesting. Do I care? Not really. Oh, we're near the end, boys. Fucking finally. Thought we were near the end. Uh, single player part will be coming out fairly soon, at least compared to how long everyone else uh, has waited. It may be in a year. Star Citizen, on the other hand, that's got years still. Games are taking armies to build these days. It's getting nuts. Yeah, that's true. I wish Telltale would uh, try to reform or regroup. Also, um, the f oh, the whole shutting down Bagley. Was supposed to be sad, right? But I had no fucking emotion whatsoever. Bagley. No one fucking cares about Bagley? It's like getting sad if your fucking Alexa dies. Go buy a new one. Rest in peace to that guy. He died for this game. Pretty fucked up. We should cannibalize it for parts. Chop it up. Don't chop me up. Bagley? Is that really you? I'm Bagley, your personal assistant. I make life easier in many ways. If it's fun you're after, there's a wine and cheese expo in Notting Hill tonight. There are several artisan ice cream parlors in the area, and oh my god, is that really what I sound like? Today's forecast calls for 34 Albion assaults, 59 deportation raids, 857 terabytes of personal data stolen, and one resistance group of sulking, whinging, frankly pathetic operatives. May I suggest you quit feeling sorry for yourselves and get back to unfucking London? Holy fuck! The big man's back! Bagley's back! I retract my statement. Story gets a 2 out of 5. Overall score? Let's get So! Let's see if this actually improves anything. I didn't even touch Field of View. I would have loved to, but I didn't touch it. It's at 60, right? Hello. When you have a moment, could you pop over to my terminal? This is sort of awkward, but I don't feel well. Alright. Ah, uh, what do you want? Oh, no. We're not done with the game! I'm doing this next time. I'm doing this next time. Or is V-Sync on? Uh, I'm not doing that. It's fine. Let me just see if this, like, does anything. I'm doing this next time. Wait, that's the DLC? Finding Bagley? Isn't the, isn't the DLC with Aiden? 
Zus. No! Damn it. He seems smart. Like someone who understands what's He is not smart. He's a bitch. The fuck out of my recruitment list. Let us explore a sit uh, area where we haven't really traveled. It says 60. See? Relax. <laughs> 52. 57. 59. 58. 59. 57. 58. I rest my case! So, uh, it's not the end of Watch Dogs. If you're watching the playlist, we're gonna continue with a side mission, then transition over to Bloodline, and then that'll be the That'll be it for Watch Dogs Legion. Right now, I'm switching games. But if you are watching the episodes, I do cut this up. Um, if you're new here, uh, I got a collection. I got a horrible streaming schedule. So if you miss one of my streams, go over there and catch up. Uh, if you're not sick of my voice, that is. Um, how was that bad? What do you mean? It feels like dog shit, bro. That is pretty low now. 60 should be the standard. It should be the standard right now. Anyways, it's nearly at 60, but just under 60 feels like shit, bro. I, I've been, I guess you could say I'm a little bit spoiled because of the refresh rate on the monitor, but I, I've been, I've been graduated past 60 hertz, man. Uh, it, it feels like shit to me. It's not online FPS, but once you start driving in the game, and you see those little dips, you'll know what I mean. You'll know what I mean, bro. Yeah, get the game for yourself, all right? <laughs> uh, I know what I'm seeing, man. Uh, but like I said, we're done with Watch Dogs for today. We'll pick it up whenever. Um, but yeah, we're not done just quite yet. We're gonna be switching to Valheim. But if you are watching the episodes, the VODs, I'll see you when we come back, all right?